guys, it's Brittany and happy Valentine's Day week! <laughs> you guys are watching this on Monday, but you know, I just thought I'm kind of in the Valentine's Day spirit, so I just whipped out my boa, of course, and I've been wearing pink in every single video this month so far. <laughs> so I was just kind of, you know, reading some things, and then something just kind of clicked in my head, and I came across some weird stories and I thought this would be a really good topic for my channel. There are people in this world, and probably including you, that have seen something and you swear by it. You have seen something. It doesn't have to be paranormal. It could be some man breaking into your house and yelling at you to give you all of your Harry Potter merchandise. Like. And <laughs> you swear a man broke into your house saying, give me all your Slytherin merchandise, give me all your Harry Potter stuff. And then they steal it or they don't steal it and they run away. But it's like the most bizarre situation. It could be something like that. And you have absolutely no proof and nobody believes you. So it could be paranormal, like I said, or it doesn't have to be paranormal. It could be like the guy breaking in wanting your Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, if that ever happened to me, that person. I would just, you know, I would lose it. So the first story that I'm going to share with you guys, it's actually really sad. So it happened to this girl or boy, I'm not sure, I'm just gonna say girl, when they were really young and they were sleeping and they just woke up and they saw a man sitting on the stairs just watching them. And they weren't scared or anything, but they were just kind of like, who the heck is this man sitting on the stairs watching me? This man was sitting on the stairs for like, who knows how long, you know, before this child even woke up. But when the child woke up, the man was staring at them for 10 minutes or so. Now this part is just something that is so sad and so crazy, but a few days after this whole incident with the man on the stairs, this child found out that their father was killed over in Europe. And this child lived in Canada with their mother because their parents were separated. This man that was sitting on the staircase resembled the father 100%. And this child, well, now that they're older, does not believe in ghosts. But they know what they saw and it was their father sitting on the staircase and they have absolutely no proof. And I don't think the mother believes what happened, but this person 100% is like, I know what I saw. It was my dad sitting on the stairs watching me. So that just gave me chills. This next story is absolutely terrifying. It reminds me of a horror movie. So there is this family that took their kid to a carnival and there is this ride where like it's a bunch of dragons and you sit, you know, and you, you know those like teacups in a way and you're constantly spinning it around yourself, you go faster and faster. So this little girl, she was in line for this ride. She finally was allowed, you know, in and to go on whatever dragon she wanted to. So when she approached this one dragon, she thought it was empty and that was the one she was gonna sit in. When she got inside of the dragon, there was another girl sitting there that looked exactly like her. So this little girl was kind of startled and you know, she just sat across from this person that looks just like her and this other little girl, I guess her doppelganger, right, was staring at her with no emotion, wasn't blinking, just completely staring. The ride started and they started, you know, spinning the thing by themselves and just looking at each other. They weren't really even enjoying the ride, but the doppelganger would not stop staring at this girl and just, you know, she was, wasn't even blinking, just no emotion and just, you know, that's how I picture it, just spinning. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that looks scary. But that's all I picture and that's just what happened to this girl throughout the whole ride. So when the ride was completely over, you know, the two girls got out and when the actual, like the non-doppelganger, she noticed her parents and her family walking away with the little girl, her doppelganger, on this ride. And she's just like, what the heck? Like obviously her parents thought it was her. They were walking away with her. And then she starts calling out to her parents. Her parents turn around and they just, you know, go completely ghostly white because they thought that this was their daughter but she's over there yelling for them. I have chills right now, this is so scary. Finally when their daughter caught up, the doppelganger girl completely disappeared. Like there's just no trace of her, they don't know what happened to her and that is so scary and apparently to this day that whole family will not even bring up that carnival trip because it was just something so scary. I mean it is, you see your parents and your family just walking away with someone else who they think is you. What that is so scary and you know, especially finding your doppelganger on a ride and they're just staring at you the whole time with no emotion and not even blinking. It is so freaky. This next 
story is really creepy. I mean, obviously it's creepy. I wouldn't be sharing it with you if I didn't think it was creepy. But one morning they just walked outside and they saw this woman kneeling in, you know, her her mother's flower garden. You know, this is a girl. I think it was a girl. I'm just going to say it was a girl. So she walked outside and this other woman, complete stranger, is kneeling in her mother's flower garden. It was just so awkward. So the girl goes up to her and was like, hello. And by the way, this girl was about 10 years old or something. And the woman just quickly was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And was just, you know, going, you know, apologizing like crazy for being in their garden and stuff. And you know, it's just really bizarre. The woman was then saying like, I love your flowers. They're so nice. And you know, it was just, okay, I guess you're, you know, you're innocent, but that's still kind of weird. And the woman just walked away. So later that day, this girl's parents, they went out to do some errands. They were going to be back in maybe like less than an hour or so. So she was sitting on the couch just watching TV with her younger brother. And all of a sudden, she feels someone tapping her on the shoulder. She turns around and it's the woman that was inside, not inside, in the garden. She's right behind this girl in her house tapping her on the shoulder. How the heck did she get in? Unless the door was unlocked, which I don't think so, or maybe she broke through a window. I mean, it's just like, what the heck? So immediately the woman is apologizing again, like, oh my God, like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. And this little girl is just like, yeah, well, you shouldn't really be coming into people's homes without knocking at the door. Like, it's just kind of weird. And then the woman was still apologizing. And she's like, when are your parents going to be home? Like, just weird questions. and. The daughter was saying they'll be home soon and then the woman was asking can I have a pen and paper because I want to write a note to your parents. Just like, what? <laughs> so she gave this woman the pen and paper and she was just watching her because she had no idea what this woman was capable of. You know, maybe she had a weapon on her. I mean, who knows? So, you know, she wrote the note down. She left the note on the paper. I mean, she left the note on the table. She got up and she walked away and she said thank you and just walked out of the house and closed the door. So immediately when this woman leaves the house, this girl runs to the door and she locks it. Cause like, what the heck? How did this woman just walk in and why did she tap me on the shoulder? What a creepy thing to do to a child, especially you just walk into the house when the parents are gone and just tap them, tapping them on the shoulder. Like, I mean, even if that happened to an adult, that is so freaky. So when I came across the story earlier, I thought that it actually said what the note said like word for word, but I guess I was wrong, I don't know. But basically she said in the note that she believed God spoke to her in the garden and told her to build an altar to her grandmother. And the note was her scheduling an appointment with the child's mother to discuss placing a tombstone in a prayer table or something in the garden. So finally, when the parents got home, you know, this daughter was freaking out. She ran to her parents, she told them about this woman, how she was in the garden and you know, just, it just made no sense. And then she came into the house, tapped her on the shoulder and wanted to leave a note for her mom. And on the note, she also left her phone number. So the mom was really freaked out by all of this. She actually took the day off work the next day to sit outside on her porch waiting for this woman because this woman scheduled a time to be at the garden and the mother was waiting for her. When this woman just never showed up, the mother then called the number that was written down on the paper. But this number was not even a real number. So it's just so bizarre. And I don't think they ever saw this woman ever again, but apparently the parents don't really believe the story and all the evidence that this girl had was this note with what she was saying, you know, in the garden and everything. And she swears by, I guess she also has her brother there too. Maybe he doesn't remember, I don't know, but that is so freaky, like what the heck? So guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Today's shout out goes to Crazy Swan. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It means the world to me. Thank you for being a brethren. And if you want a shout out in my next video, all you gotta do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel, of course. Turn on your post notifications because apparently YouTube hates me and does not want anyone to see my videos. I mean like, girl, I don't know. But apparently doesn't want me to see, doesn't want anyone to see my video so I don't know apparently notifications is like the new subscribe button I don't know and then comment down below that you are a brethren and you could be next so thank you guys so much for watching as always you rock my world in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson hashtag team pretty 44 hashtag brotherens hey and I will see you guys in my next video bye